to me, art in all its forms is an outward expression of your inward emotions. There is no such thing as objectively good or bad art because how can you really grade your emotions or quantify what your heart truly desires to express? There are no units of measurement nor is there a numerical scale for the vehemence of feelings. Now, don't get me wrong, there are creatives that are more refined than others. Good art requires a disciplined practice of technique and skill and, dare I say, it requires a certain amount of talent and creativity too, but talent is useless when there is no following of effort and, as for creativity, well, everyone is capable of having an original thought. But let's reserve that for another time. Impactful art, however, stems from the inner parts of one's soul and is the cultivation of intense, fervent passions found within one's heart. It speaks, it questions, it makes you think. Impactful art is felt. Now that I'm creating art as a means of living, a blessing and a curse, there is no doubt that I must put myself out there and create content. Sometimes I find myself nosediving into the trap of making art for art's sake. I hate that. I want to preface this. I am still balancing this golden ratio when it comes to making art and posting art. I am not consistent, nor do I have this all figured out. I'm not even sure if I will ever come to a revelation actually, but I know one thing is for sure. I do not exist just to make content. As I ebb and flow through these tides of life, I want my art to speak volumes louder than that of a song that you blast in the vehicle with your ride or dies. I want my art to raise your eyebrow or eyebrows. Like if I were to ask you if a word was misspelt in the dictionary, will we ever know it? I want my art to linger in your subconscious mind in the daytime as you reside in this matrix of the so-called everyday life. I want my art to be that inescapable thought so deeply rooted within your brain at night as you struggle in determination to fall asleep. Sorry. I want my art to make you feel what I feel or more but nothing less because I believe that there is imperative value in a heart-to-heart -heart connection. I hope this lives as a reminder to flee from making art for art's sake, but rather hearken back to the beginning, reminiscent of your rudimentary musings. Flutter out of the window and back to the fields from whence you came.